I've got 21 hours of data so far on uh, RGB data on M81 using the uh, Vixen VC200L and the QHY168C with the Optolong L Pro filter. I also took um, last night, we had another clear night, I took some narrowband data uh, to get the H alpha. Um, in M81 using um, the same setup except I had the Optolong L Enhance filter installed in it and uh, that was allowing me to capture uh, H alpha data so I've got about I have to look and see I haven't uh, uh, added it up completely but I probably have another six hours of data um, in narrowband to add to the 21 hours plus I'm going to be shooting more RGB tonight. I've switched over the filters. Um, the Optolong L Pro is installed again in front of the uh, QHY168C sensor. And my hope is to get somewhere around 30 to 40 hours in total. So let's get back at it and uh, we'll get things going. This is the uh, plate solving routine uh, inside uh, Sequence Generator Pro. So what it's doing is uh, taking uh, so it's taking some images and it's uh, determining the star pattern and uh, matching it uh, to known uh, star pattern where uh, M81 resides. And there we go. M81 right there. And now SGP is going to resume the auto guider and it'll go into a focusing routine. I told it to focus after uh, it uh, centers on the uh, on the galaxy. So it's going to uh, do a quick uh, autofocus routine. We'll just watch that right now. And you can see it's moved the uh, the focus out and it's slowly bringing it in. And what we're looking for here is somewhat of a V-curve when it's done. And SGP will tell us uh, how accurate the autofocus is. It's usually fairly good. It's usually in the 90s. On occasion, I've had it hit 99%, which is uh, fabulous. Okay, so it plotted the first part of the focus curve, and it is going to do the second half now. So far we're at 98% quality in, in terms of the autofocus. And it's 100% complete, and it is showing, it's still showing 98%. We'll see what the final value is. Yeah, 98%, it held. And now what it's going to do is, um, it's going to uh, fire up the auto guider again, and... Uh, because I have it set to disable auto guiding when it auto focuses. Um, so it's turning on the auto guider again and uh, finding a guide star. And uh, it's going to wait to uh, settle on that guide star. And then it'll uh, begin imaging M81. If we look here. So that's the dither patterns that are occurring here. Dither patterns. Here's the guiding. It's not so bad. And it started uh, taking the uh, frame right now, actually. So it's uh, 
begun imaging M81 again. This is a single five minute light frame that I got. So I am going to do what I can to get as much data tonight. I'm going to go all night on the uh, on, on M81 and uh, get as much uh, hours in as I can over this night and we will see where things are at. All right, let's just have a quick look at the weather again, see what we got here. Um, so it's showing mainly clear with cloudy periods in the evening, remaining clear overnight. So right now, um, there wasn't really any clouds in the sky. Uh, there, was, there was a few, but nothing of consequence. I ended up getting um, a total of 25 hours on M81 and um, I'm going to process it in uh, Pics and Sight and uh, we can have a look and see what the end result was. Um, the clear nights weren't uh, that great. Um, what happened a lot of times, uh, most of the clear nights that uh, came and went uh, already, uh, clouds appeared and kind of cut things short so I wasn't able to get the 30 or 40 hours that I was hoping for but uh, 25 hours is pretty good and I think the the image looks uh, pretty smashing it's gotten a lot of good feedback online um, on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram so um, I'm uh, pretty happy with it let's uh, have a quick look gotten a lot of good feedback online and uh oh crap it's gotten a lot of good feedback it's gotten a lot of good feedback online um on facebook and twitter and instagram so um i'm uh, pretty happy with it let's uh have a quick look and uh and then uh and then yeah i don't know i'm not sure what i'm gonna say